Have you ever wondered why when we slice a bell pepper into squares, we wind up with curved slices? Well, the author of Cooking for Geeks, Jeff Potter, is here with us today to show us how to solve this cooking problem. So Jeff, what is the right way to cut a bell pepper? Well, I can show you the way that I cut them. Okay, I wanna see this. So I cut the top off. Okay, I do that. And then I cut the bottom off. I don't do that. And invariably, <laughs> I eat these little pieces when no one's looking. And then one slice right there. And then the whole bell pepper will actually open oh up my gosh, that's into a nice so easy. flat sheet. I love that, especially because I feel like you're saving oh. you're saving a lot of the bell pepper. Yeah, how do you cut yours? Well, I cut it down the middle and then I core both sides. Oh, so then the seeds get everywhere yeah, that too. That takes so much time. Doing it this way means you also get this nice big flat sheet that you can then just kind of cut into slices. Yes. Now, there's another thing about bell peppers that I think is really cool that most people don't know. What? Have you ever thought about peeling one? No. What? Wait, because you just eat the skin. Well, if you peel it, you'll uh -huh. actually get this peel that comes off. Mm -hmm. Not that I did a great job there. And taste that. Hmm. Mm. It's not the sweet red bell pepper taste it's that not. you know. It's this green herbaceous, yeah. you know, it's the green part. So if you're actually using a red bell pepper in a dish where you're gonna cut it up, you can actually peel it and that and will actually then... make the dish taste better and it'll avoid this oh. kind of tough membrane. I like that, but I also like this, the way you cut it because Doing it the way you did it, you get nice thin slices, which are perfect for dipping. Mm -hmm. And I like to entertain a lot, so that means my sticks are really nice. There you go. How and to they cut still a, taste fantastic. How to cut a red bell pepper. Yes, well thank you so much, Jeff. Really appreciate all those tips. Now, we want you to join the community using hashtag OwnShow. I love a lot of things that people would not expect me to love, like, country music, um, like line dancing. If you don't have a lot of time to shop for a gift for that special person in your life, we can help. Today, gift guru Sandra Magsalmon will show us a few creative gifts when time is of the essence.